IQT Solutions thought it had pulled a fast one, but didn't expect this. The call center company shut down operations in Ontario and Quebec, fled in the middle of the night and tried to set up shop in Nashville. I walked in Friday and it's okay, honey. It's okay. found out that I didn't have a job anymore. No pay. It was payday, no checks. Sorry. For the first time in a long time, I had a lot of people proud of me. I worked every day hard. I have three daughters that looked up to me and on Friday, I had to come home with the news that mommy no longer had a job and explain to my daughters why their summer was cancelled. People don't understand. People think you own a house, you're well off. Right now I own a house and we can't eat. That is the bottom line. My mom has to cancel my birthday party because they screwed my mom and like 1,200 other workers. They left us on Friday broke, all of us, not just one. It's not just yeah. me, unfortunately, it's not just him. Yeah. It was 1,200 people between Quebec and, and Ontario. Well, that was 12 every year and Quebec also got shut down on the yeah. same day on Friday, no pay. Yeah. Exact same situation. This guy is a criminal. I was greeted by eight cop cruisers telling me I have two minutes to get in a building and get my stuff and get out. Yeah. No paycheck, no job. If we walked into somebody's yeah. house and we took their money, we would be in jail. Why are they not, not in, jail? in jail? The owner of the company was on Twitter bragging that he bought a Porsche on Friday, he as well as a 25k condo. Yeah, but we're gonna be living on the street. How can you buy assets like that knowing that your company is going bankrupt and you don't even tell your employees to give us the opportunity to find another job? And we're almost yeah. at retirement age. Yeah. We're so close. So what and do we do? For us to lose our house and our car, okay. and our, we now we have to take out our RSPs. Employers are gonna want people who are gonna stay around for a while. We got maybe 10 years left of working. Who's gonna hire me? These are my two kids. I'm single, I support them myself. I have no money at all. It, it's hard for them. They, they see me go to work every day and now I'm not, now I'm home. I have no money. I have 20 cents in my pocket. Rent's coming, my car insurance belt. People live paycheck to paycheck nowadays. We don't have no. savings anymore and now we're left with nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I have to take cars off the road. I have a car I can't drive. I can't throw insurance. I can't get gas. I mean, it, it's criminal what they did. We need Harper. Where is Harper? Where is Harper? He's exactly. Exactly. We've been government. contacting him. We've been sending him emails. We've been calling no him. Comment, no, no comment. No comment. Not calling no us back. The government stands behind the big corporations, not the little people like us. And that's the sad part. They get away with, they have all kinds of incentives and all kinds of tax things, you know, uh, uh, re rebates and all that. What do we have? We have nothing and they don't care. Do you exactly. think they'll have our vote with no help next time? Not mine. Not mine. The owners, the Mormons, and the government have to be accountable, federal and provincial. You know where we stand, our family, power in numbers, and we will fight for what is ours. They owe it to us. We are not entitled to it. We earned it. How is exactly. that fair? It, it, it's, it's not, and they should be absolutely disgusted with yeah. what they did. Yeah. Yeah. Our freedom of speech that we have here in Canada shut down the contract that they were about to get in Niceville, Tennessee, in Davidson County, in Niceville, Tennessee. And that's because we did not keep quiet. We kept speaking louder, and we are not stopping. We're just starting. We're going to get out.